Here I demonstrate how to use Kinect and a PlayStation Move in our Turbo to Scanny demo. So we use Kinect to track the hands, the legs, basically the whole body. And, and you can use that body to uh, push objects in the scene and <clears throat> do all kind of interaction. For example, you can step on things with your feet or you can climb with your uh, hands and here I'm, I'm climbing these ladders in a fashion that's very close to what you would do in, in the real life. Now this particle example is actually pretty hard because sometimes Kinect loses track of your hands and, and you fall off or, or you fly away um, because of the physics simulation. Now while you're climbing you can actually look into different directions because we're tracking the head with PlayStation Move. And that's a really, really good and accurate head tracking method. All right, let's go up here and uh, push this object around a bit. Here goes the chair and kick this barrel. And there you could see that how Kinect kind of failed with the le um, leg tracking. Now here I'm using the Kinect tracking to take a few steps and I'm not using the PlayStation navigation controller at all. And it at this point it actually feels, you can feel the vertigo effect when you can really see your legs high up on the plank and uh, oh wow and this, this, that feels pretty freaky when you fall down there so it takes some, something to get used to but um, okay let's interact more with this object push around the chair alright and then there's the table we don't really need that so let's push it over PS Move can track up to four controllers at the same time and so we will use one controller for head tracking one is like a selection and manipulation controller and the third Move controller is the baseball bat as you can see here while I'm swinging this, this uh, bat you can see that um, the, the latency on Kinect is, is much larger than on PS Move and the razor hider has, has even even smaller latency. And uh, the benefit of using PS Move and, and Razer Hydra is that you have buttons that you can you can you press to select and manipulate objects instead of using gestures like with Kinect or Leap Motion, uh, which suffer from a lot of like gesture recognition errors. Okay, so uh, let's take this broom here for example and uh, use it to, to clean the scene from the mess we made. Okay, let's sweep this ball here. Okay, there you go. And uh, now I'm using the PS navigation controller to move the character around for uh, longer trips. And um, basically the heading of the character, the forward direction comes from Kinect, but I can also turn the character uh, using buttons on the navigation controller. Okay, let's peek inside what's here. All right, there's grandma here dancing. I think we'll pay her a visit. So we also have a kind of like a jump button on the control. We jump in and uh, let's let's sneak behind. Let's sneak behind the grandma and uh, give her a nice little massage. All right. And I'm sure she appreciates. And <laughs> let's. Let's go upstairs uh, to continue our exploration. You can actually go outside outside the, the fences of the house. There's some secrets that we have left there, but uh, you have to explore them yourself. Now, um, uh, let's use this lamp as kind of like a boxing, boxing opponent. Let's give a couple of swings here. And maybe we can do a little kick here. Oh, that wasn't very effective, so let's just go. Finally, I'll show you a set of body parts that I think should be tracked for a minimal uh, virtual body representation. Independent tracking of head, abdomen and the hands should provide quite nice results. Uh, the feet are a bonus. Thanks for watching this video. You can download the demo in the address below.